What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing 10 fun facts about me that you probably didn't know and I'm going to start off with a really really funny one. It was so traumatizing I still remember till this day and the most crazy part is I believe I was 2 years old, maybe 3, maybe 3. So basically how I stopped shitting myself and why I stopped using diapers, it pretty much went like this. So basically I guess my dad wanted me to stop using diapers or something and he would make me not wear diapers and I would wear just basically shorts and I would climb up the stairs and I would shit on the stairs and because I couldn't hold it, I was little and he smacked me so damn hard. I swear to God, this boom, that like, that motion, the whole world just And that thing hurt so much. And I remember crying and crying. From that day on, I stopped shitting myself. For my second fact, for the people who don't know, I actually live in the hood in Miami. People ask me, hey, where do you live? Do you live in Coral Way, Coral Gables, Fort Lauderdale, North Barber Beach? I'm like, nah, son, I live in the hood. I've actually been living here for about six, seven years now. I've gone to some neighbors. You know, I pretty much don't have any colored so what I'm pretty much saying is I'm the only white guy here but my neighbor right next to me to the left is actually um, Hispanic too our right neighbor is kind of Hispanic I don't know people keep moving out I don't know if it's a trap house or what it is but I'll make it out one day guys I promise I'll get out the hood free my dude 100 for the third fact which is actually a pretty cool fact I used to play Halo Halo was the first game I originated in Halo was the game I was trying to go pro I was young I was about 12 13 and I actually loved it Halo is probably still to this day my favorite game to play it's so fun I remember playing hours and hours and hours and I used to look up to all the pros and some of the pros I talk to now it's pretty cool you know it's a it's a fun thing I'm, I was like a fanboy back then and I still am I guess in a way but yeah guys Halo for the fourth fact I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh I actually still own some of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards that do guys sell them and I played for a while I played when I was younger then I remember playing in high school like freshman year a little bit with my friends and I was a nerd at Yu-Gi-Oh I loved Yu-Gi-Oh you know such a like st strategy you know putting your cards down like it's time do, 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 do. and I just had so much fun with it man it was like something I loved it was like another comp competition thing I'm a very competitive person you guys can see so it's just I had fun. For the fifth fact, for the people who don't know, I'm actually Bulgarian slash Peruvian. Fucking people call me Mexican. What's wrong with you? At least say the right thing. Peruvian. My dad's Bulgarian and my mom's Peruvian. So that's why I'm, I'm like a mixture of European and Hispanic. And you know, I hate people who call like every Hispanic person Mexican. I remember growing up, especially online, you know, I had more of a, I guess, Hispanic... Hispanic, a Hispanic accent just because, you know, I was living with my mom most of the time since my parents got divorced at an early age. And, you know, I picked that up more than speaking Bulgarian. I even spoke Bulgarian for a little bit. I still do. I see some Buddha. I pretty much just said I want water. But, you know, it, it was funny. You know, people make fun of us. You fucking beaner. Man, shut up. For the sixth, for the sixth fact, I actually like playing PC games. It's something I do on my downtime a lot. And it's something I wish I could put in more time because I just have so much fun. And no, not CSGO. I actually like other games like RPG games. And for example, I like playing Diablo. I don't know if you guys, Diablo 2 used to be the funnest game ever. Diablo 3 isn't that good. Uh, League of Legends, I played it for a while now and got bored of it. I'm actually playing Dota right now, Dota 2. I used to play Dota 1, which was really, 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 really fun. And I played StarCraft for a little bit. Had so much fun with that game because I used to play Warcraft 3, which was similar to StarCraft. So I kind of already knew how to play. I wasn't the best, but I was pretty good. So th th that's what I love doing my downtime, man. I'm a very competitive person. I love just playing with my friends, like Dota and stuff. I'm actually pretty good too, but I'll, I'm never going to become pro with that. For the seventh thing, a lot of you guys might know already, but it's just a fun fact that I actually like rap music the most out of any genre. And I do enjoy most music though. I'm not the type of person, oh yeah, I'm like rap music, bro. Yeah, 50 Cent, 100. No, I'm not like that. You know, I enjoy most music. If you put on a good rock song, I'm probably gonna like it. If you put on, I, the only thing, the only thing is probably country. I say most of the country music, I can't enjoy it. It's just not my type. I, I actually do like maybe a couple country songs, but anything else like hop, pop, hip hop, R&B, rap, rock, you know, anything like that, if it's good, because I love music in general. If it's good, then I'm gonna enjoy it in the end of the day. But I like more old artists like Tupac, Biggie. You know, the, Tupac was a huge, I feel like a huge, a huge impact on my life in a sense, just because I grew up, even though I was like grew up because I was like 11, 12, 13, but I grew up a lot listening to him. And even though he could be kind of harsh sometimes, he did teach me and about, 
you know, just about the lives they live and I had a lot of sympathy and all these things and it, it kind of helped me grow up the way I am now, you know, changes. I'm tired of being poor, even worse, I'm black, my stomach hurts, so I'm looking for a purse to snatch. Cops give a damn about a Negro, pull a trick, kill a nigga. For the eighth fact, a lot of you may not know, but I am engaged to Maria. She's been my fiance for about a year now. Uh, we've been dating for about three years and a half. It's gonna be four years soon. You know, we met in high school, high school sweetheart. But it's been a great time, man. I'm enjoying company, I really love her, and I'm just happy, happy, you know, just really happy with her. And I feel like that's the most important thing when it comes to a relationship. Make sure you're happy. You know, look at Doug in that. Look at all these people. Like, you, you can see relationships that are happy and some that are just miserable and just are together to be together. I don't know, but I'm happy. For the ninth thing, I actually like anime. I remember growing up, I used to watch Naruto a lot. I Last time I watched Naruto was probably, I'll say a year ago. I kind of caught up and then I kind of fell off because they were putting so many fill-ins and I just got I got tired of just watching them fill in. But I like like all type of anime. I, I love the action. I love everything about it. Uh, probably one of my favorite ones has to be Naruto, something I grew up. But Dragon Ball Z is my favorite one from the start. Right there. Super Saiyan Goku. Show what's up, homie. And for the last thing, a quick one. I used to do boxing. I did boxing for four months when I was younger. I believe I was 13, 14 something like that and I stopped because the other day I wanted to play basketball more than I wanted to boxing plus boxing it was so hard you know so much cardio so much this so much that two hours of training and I just I don't know I got I didn't say get bored of it but I got tired of it but that's something I would love to do in the future I love boxing <laughs> That was a kickbox, my bad. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit long, but you guys got to learn a little bit more about me. If you did it, hope you had a great time. Hope you loved it. Don't forget to leave a like. Helps me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. This has been your boy, Apathy. And I'll...